Hello everyone. Today I'd like to consider a question I received recently. The question was, can I use Bing map imagery in Civil 3D and AutoCAD when my survey data was done using assumed coordinates and assumed bearing basis? So there are some options here and I just wanna talk about a couple. So to start with, let's insert some survey data from point file. I'm going to insert points from file. Pick my first boundary. Point type is PNEZD. Notice the coordinates. Assume our start point is zero, zero. So that's for sure a project or assume coordinate system. So you can see I have boundary and topo in the same survey here, but I'm gonna go to my point groups. And I'm gonna right click and say update. And what I've done here is I've used the point group stack to control display. So I've got a no display point group. So it'll take over all points and then a monument point group that'll only display the monument data. So that's a nice way to go for display if you're not using that. But again, if you see my running coordinates here, I'm at zero, zero right here in the middle of the job. Now in this particular case, I did have a nice basis of grid bearing, or you could call it state plane in this case, because many of these jobs end up going into a state plane coordinate system. So it could be referenced into GIS or something else. But in this particular job, we had a nice basis of bearing. So our bearing was backside was from one to two, and it was a known based off a of grid. But as you can see, our coordinates are completely assumed. In AutoCAD, I could go directly to the geolocation tab, but in Civil 3D, it doesn't show itself until you have a coordinate system in the file. But I can still get to it. If I type in geographic location, there it is, and I'm gonna Hit enter to accept map. Yes. And now I'm going to find my location. Zoom in because I know the job. And so one of my iron pins, I know the location based on this image. So I'm going to right click where I just about where that particular monument or corner is. And I'm going to say move marker here. I'm going to hit next. And then I still have to select my grid coordinate system. Much of the US, we will be using state plane coordinates. These are planar coordinate grid systems per state. The one that I would typically be using in this location is Alabama. East, NAT 83, US foot, next. And now it says, okay, that location you selected on the image, where is that in your survey data? Well, it's here. And now it's asking for the north direction, which I could select a north if I knew the north based off of two points. If I wanted to place or decide on north based on two other points, I can click first point and click two points somewhere else. I can key in an angle, and that angle is from positive X going counterclockwise, that's what I call CAD azimuth. And so 90 degrees is actually grid. North in this case, I'm just gonna hit enter. You can see this lined up very well, knowing the job. My corners are where I would expect and I could do additional reconnaissance or whatever I was gonna do with this imagery at that point. So let's jump to another file. run the same scenario. We're going to bring in points from a file. Different survey this time, same format. You can see coordinates totally assumed. Go to point groups, I'm going to update. So I just get the control points, fit the screen. Pop this up maybe. So in this case, I started setting up here and I did a back site assume bearing into this point. This is actually point two underneath there. And that was a total assume bearing. That was just basically looking at known direction, maybe looking at the sun and saying, you know what, that's about 315 degrees of azimuth. And you can see if I go into that survey file, that was the assumed 315 degree azimuth. But I had no basis to think that that was exactly on a grid north system. So let's check that. I'm going to do the same key in geographic location. 
enter to accept map. And I'll just find my area here. There we go. And I know about where one of those pins is located. So I'm going to right click and say move marker here. Next. Now pick my, just like before, pick my system. It's going to be west this time. Alabama West system. Now the location I know is this particular pin. That's what matches there. And this, I'll do the same thing just to show. So let's just, uh, let's say our bearing or we're just testing our bearing. So just hit enter. So that one is of course right on the money. But if I come up to the north side of the property, this particular monument should be here on the right of way of the street. So I want to I want to correct that, but how do I do that? Well, the nice thing in this case is this particular line along the right of way of the road, that particular line in the deed was described pretty much on north grid bearing. There's maybe a degree off. So if I select the direction between these two points, that would be pretty much right on the money. The nice thing is I don't have to start over. So if I go to the geolocation tab, which is now available because I've set a location, I'm going to go to geolocation. There is a reorient marker. So I'm going to select that and it select the location. I could turn this by another point, but I want to keep the same. So I'm just going to hit enter. Notice I get that same line back that I had before. So it says, what's the north direction? Well, if I snap to here, I'm saying that line is north and it pretty much is. So I select it. And now I spin the job. You can see this point is in the right spot. This pin is where it should be. And I've oriented the image to my local survey. And now I could continue to do recon maybe or whatever I needed to do with this image. So the goal today was to show how to use Bing imagery even when you have a assumed coordinate survey or assumed bearing basis survey. I hope this has been beneficial. Have a great day.